So we sat down with one of the greatest figures in American sports. Keith Hernandez, formerly of the Cardinals and the Mets, had an amazing career as a first baseman, won two World Series titles, but he was really the kind of athlete that you don't see today. Here's a man who smoked cigarettes in the dugout, played some of his games hungover, and we asked him, because we couldn't resist, how did you do that? How did you play at that high a level while living the life you were? Here's part of the conversation from Tucker Carlson today. You read these stories about baseball players tearing it up at night and then playing the next day. How do people play at a high level with a hangover? You can't do it, make a habit of it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can. It'll catch up to you. Chicago was the place. Wrigley Field, one of the great things about Wrigley Field was that it's the same ballpark that when Ruth made the point, yeah. the home run. So you're in that clubhouse. It was this tiny clubhouse, tiny. And you had to walk up the stairs and over the people, you could see the people and they throw beers at you. It was just fun. It was great fun. I loved Wrigley. But when you sat in your locker, you go, gosh darn, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig sat here. Yeah. You know, Stan Musial, you know, all the greats. And here I am in the same locker as them. But getting back to your point, Russian division, you can go in a, to a bar in Russian division at 11 o'clock and it's empty. You go at one o'clock, it's packed, and it would go to four. Now, if you stayed out to four, don't, don't go to bed. Don't try to sleep, just stay up. I did it three times in my career, just because I, I had to do it. And I, and I got out to first base, and I said, Lord, please, no ground balls today, no, no tough plays. I promise I'll never do it again. <laughs> How'd you play? Um, I don't remember. I did good when I was tired or if I had, I focused more if to say I uh, had a headache or for whatever reason, I focused more. You can't let your team down. It's a team game. I can't, I can't in my right mind go out in the field and because I'm tired or I've had too many uh, hungover and I'm holding the runner on and I got to come off the bag with the pitch and if I slough it and don't do that extra step and the ball gets by me in the outfield and it's first and third, I've let that, my team down that pitcher. I couldn't do it. So I bore down more when I was sick or if I had a few too many beers. And you never missed a game I, from being hungover? Oh, God, no. Heck no. No way. That's pretty impressive. No, it's not. No. You can't let your teammates down. But we could sleep till noon. I slept till noon. My schedule, even if I'd just, just say it's a night game and say I, uh, the normal would have been hotel bar till 1 o'clock, 1.30, I'd go up to my room, go to sleep. I wouldn't wake up to 12 noon. That was yeah. my schedule, night games. Yeah. You know, I would call room service, coffee, Danish, and I'd turn on ABC and watch all my children. <laughs> you watched all my children on the road? Yes. The religiously. My whole my whole career. No way. Yes. You're watching soap operas in your hotel room. Just that one. <laughs> watching soap operas on the road. You learn something every time. Baseball legend Keith Hernandez now on Fox Nation. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.